Shalom, Kaholoyim La Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rachakodash, and of course, the blinders to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who were well, and peace and salutations to all sincere Akim out there, of course, teaching the word in all sincerity and truth. Of course, Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, the world ignorantly calls God, and His only begotten Son's name is Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Bahashem in the name, Racha meaning spirit, and Kodash is holy. Which I uttered in the Paleo Hebrew, also giving all praises to him in the Paleo Hebrew, which is the ancient language, the language of the Heavenly Father and His Son, the language that has been returned onto the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans. You're the Lord's chosen people. Now, without further ado, I'm just going to go into this. I'm the brother Mappa from Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp, located here in Great Babylon, which is America. And I'm covering this off of the hayrod.com. And it says, He veem the ICE, meaning Immigration Custom Enforcement Protest, is the shame of Portland. This is published on August the 3rd, 2018, Year of Prophecy. Which we're seeing all of these prophecy prophecies come to pass. It says, Protests have popped up across the country, rebelling... Which rebel means to make war against ICE, which is Immigration's Custom Enforcement. And in some cases, harassing the agents who are simply doing their job and fulfilling their American duty. A recent protest in Portland, Oregon, far exceeded standard civ civ civility. Violent threats were made against ICE officers. And chaos of the protests reached such extremes that 911 was dialed on multiple occasions. So you have here biblical prophecy, of course, occurring not only in Great Babylon, but all across the world. Because when Donald Trump, of course, went to the UK, he was not welcome at all. There were mass protests over there and even in this country that's going against this immigration custom enforcement, which that was uh they work in conjunction with, you know, Donald Trump, who is the current president of Great Babylon, in which he had a uh, operation wet back, which is going against primarily Latinos and Latinos, which they are part of the 12 tribes of Israel Hispanics and Latinos are a part of the 12 tribes of Israel They go for, they descend back From the, um, the The northern tribes Part of the northern northern kingdom Alright And of course they are brethren with So called Dark skinned tribes That are black so called That's what they call them But they're not black We're not black people We're in fact Israelites Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, which uh, those they call those the black tribes, but you know they are of course the southern kingdom, kingdom of uh, Judah. When you go into it in the Bible, all right, collectively speaking. But you have here biblical prophecy just being fulfilled. So I'm gonna hit some precepts. This is uh, the first precept. This is in Second Edges, which is a part of the Apocrypha. Which is part of the original King James 1611 Bible. Which the so-called white man took out this truth. Because he tried of course be deceitful. And leave the whole world in gross darkness. But of course now in this day and age the truth is flourishing. Which was long without fruit. Roughly paraphrasing. Now going into it is uh, Second Edges chapter 9 and 3. And it says, I could actually start at verse 1. It says, He answered me then and said, Measure the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of these signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, and uproars of the people in the world. And it was such a highlight on this. This uproars of people. Because the different protests are different 
uproars of the people, which is a loud and impassionate noise or disturbance. A big commotion when you go into it, okay? Which they're rebelling and going against the Edomites' rule, which they're, of course, persecuting the, the, the whole nation of Yashallah. But in this case that I'm, I'm going into is going on to the Northern Kingdom, so-called um, Hispanics, per se. All right. Of course, you got Native Americans are part of, of course, the 12 tribes of Israel as well. But, you know, it's not really uh, directly towards them at, the, at for this particular type of protest. OK, so it goes on and it says in shocking unveil of the state of re reality, local police refused to respond to emergency calls made by ICE employees. So you have, of course, the enforcement Custom enforcement or immigration custom enforcement employees sending, you know, respond uh, emergency calls, but they're not responding. They know that the, the municipal government, you know, they're not responding to the, 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 the stress calls of these ICE employees, which is a very uh, funny because, the, you know, these uh, these Edomites are losing their power at this time. Which, if you didn't know, if you're uh, the so-called white man is Esau Edom that the Bible speaks of, who came out red like a hairy garment. But you have to understand that our nation was scattered amongst the rest of the heathen and mixed and mingled. So not every so-called white man who's walking around is actually an Edomite. You have our people that look like the heathen, but actually are their seed by the way of their father go back to our people. Okay. It says this was no fluke. As Mayor Ted Wheeler supported the approach of withholding law enforcement from protecting a class of citizen he deemed undeserving. So you have it here, which I'm going to go into this uh, scripture. This is Isaiah 19 and 2. And it reads, And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. Now, the modern day Egyptians... Is the Edomites okay? Because they have the, the Israelites here in uh, captivity, okay? Which uh, you know the Israelites was in the past in captivity under the the, the Egyptians, which that's Matazarium, which they were a dark race people, but they were not. Um, they're not Israelites. Simple as that. They're heathen. Okay, they come back, they descend to Ham, who was Ham in the Bible, one of Noah's three sons. Okay, and it says, and they shall fight every one against his brother, and every one against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. And you have that here, you know, with these different protests, okay, against the government. You have different Edomites that are just rebelling against um, their own selves. You know, over this, you know, Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, the Most High, and the Son have the Spirit on them to to do this. All right. Going on, it says undoubtedly this endangered several ICE employees. So you have it here, the municipal government. He didn't want to, of course, send down any um, local police because he he deemed that protecting these uh, protesters would be undeserving. So. The consequence of that action led towards these ICE employees, which are federal, federal, be not responded to. They were neglected in this situation. It says undoubtedly this endangered the several ICE employees and thus forced the National Immigration and Custom Council to write a cease to detest letter to the mayor. The council stated in the letter to the mayor, we, we, Acts that the end of our policy of not responding to calls for the police services from ICE employees immediately. In the year 2018, a mayor in the U.S. had been had to be asked to have police equally protected or to, uh, equally protect all innocent people. It says the council went to address your current policy forbidding Portland law enforcement agencies from assisting employees of immigration and custom enforcement agency who request law enforcement assistance while 
at or away from work is a violation of the United States Constitutional Protection Clause. Thankfully, for the safety of the targeted citizens, the protest has been disbanded. The characters of the protest were further portrayed by what they left behind, which was heaps of garbage accumulated and they were neglected for the city. Remember the quality of the people that once occupied the, this area within the waste piles of these civil citizens were found feces, hypodermic needles, and beer bottles. These social justice warriors who supposedly had America's best interests at heart dutifully revealed what country would look like under their command. And I mean, this is just um, a... Um, the, the calm before the storm for the lack of words. Because... America is going down and there's going to be martial law implemented pretty soon with the RFID microchip, which that's the mark of the beast. And a lot of people are going to rebel against that, you know, that new form of currency. Which, you know, the government, the new world order, the elites, they want, of course, everyone to, to accept so that they can keep their birthright. Because the, the, the earth is given on to the hand of the wicked and the wicked are the Edomites. Okay. And when this all this economic collapse, that's what this is what America is gonna look like. It's gonna be fecal matter, hypodermic needles scatter about, beer bottles and all of that everywhere. Dead bodies, you know. Which you know I'll get into another lesson on that. But you know we have it here. You know, Egyptian against Egyptian, and. The so-called white man, you know, these different curses are falling upon them, you know, as written in uh, the book of Deuteronomy, I believe the 31st chapter and uh, the first verse, which the so-called white man, which is uh, Esau Edom, he's receiving the curses that were put upon the nation of Yashallah for our rebellion, which is pretty good to see, meaning that we've been oppressed for so long, and then, and then all of these different captivities... And the so-called white man has been able to just walk, rock, and roam around freely, having to do of heaven the best things. And now he's seen his kingdom fall before his hand, and he cannot even take it. The laws that, of course, he prescribed to the people, you know, are starting to, of course, uh, you know, they, 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 you know, you can see the, the confusion in it and such, you know, where they got to actually, you know, make these different... Um, like these right to right to a cease to the test letter to the mayor and stuff and and say they're being deprived but you know we the so-called uh well so-called negroes latinos and native americans which are the hebrew Israelite, we've been deprived of many things all right so now it's starting to fall upon you this is deuteronomy 30 and 7 it says and the lord thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies all right the, the enemies of course um the Lord and his chosen people are all of you that are outside of the, the nation of Yashala. Everyone outside of the nationality of Israel. Okay, which is the Israelites are the Hebrew. Uh, are the, the Israelites are so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans. Okay. And on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. And these curses are fall upon you pretty quick. All right, I'm going to go to another scripture. This is going to be in the book of Baruch, the fourth chapter. This is Baruch 4 and 21. It says, be of cheer, of good cheer, Salakia. It says, be of good cheer, O my children. Cry unto the Lord, and he will deliver you from the power and the hand of the enemy. And that's, of course, happening right now. You know, the the the, the Israelites, the elect of Yashallah, they're waking up to their nationality, that they're Hebrew Israelites, and they're not uh, so-called Negro Latino Latinos and Native Americans because those are just bywords that were placed upon it. We are, you know, uh, tribes of, of Judah, Benjamin, Levi, tribes of Issachar, tribes of Ephraim, tribes of Manasseh, tribes of God, all right, tribes of Re Re Reuben, you know, just to uh, name a bit of the tribes and such. That's our true nationalities, but the so called white man, he put a cover cast over the whole world, you know, where the whole world don't know their nationalities, but now that's is becoming to come to pass, you know, where the Lord is, of course, revealing this truth, and it's flourishing, as I mentioned before, okay, this is, uh, 
uh, book of Ecclesiasticus 31 and should be verse 10 and it says and all men are from the ground and Adam was created of earth in much knowledge the Lord hath divided them and made their ways diverse which you know Yahweh Bashem El Shai he gave the law statutes commandments unto the children of Israel not any other nation that's the Lord's chosen people it says, some of them hath he blessed and exalted, and some of them have he, them he sanctified, which he made, he separated, meaning Kodash made him holy, and set near to himself. And you can, of course, read Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Deuteronomy 7 and 6, it reads, For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy power. Yahweh is the, the Most High's name. He's the power of Israel. The, it says, Yahweh thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth so the israelites are the lord's people and that special people and if you're not an israelite the lord ain't dealing with you all right the lord hates you and the lord you know is going to put you in slavery if you're a heathen simple as that okay you're losing your kingdom all right going on it says Some has some of them hath he blessed and exalted, and some of them hath them he sanctified and set near to himself. But some of them hath he cursed and brought low and turned out of their places, as the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it at his pleasure. So man is in the hand of him that made him to render to them like. As he as liketh him best, like it. It says, "Good is set against evil, and life against death. So is the godly against the sinner, which the godly would be the nation of Yahshua." Allah, starting up, starting up with the elect first, all right, which is the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, all right, against the sinner, that be uh, chiefly the so-called white men, all right, um, and it goes on, and it says, "And the sinner against the godly." All right, so reading again. Let me read it again. So it says, God is set the power. Our good is sluggish. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. It says, good is set against evil and life is against death. So is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. So look upon all the works of the Most High and there are two and two, one against another. You know, you go into it, Jacob and Esau. All right. And right now, you know, since, you know, you know that Jacob, you know, he's to be, uh, what is it? Uh, he's the beginning beginning of, of the world that followeth. You know, that Esau is the end of the world. You see that everything, of course, is, is happening just as it was written in the scriptures. You know, that because things that written in the scriptures, Yahweh is bound, bound by his word. And what he says will, of course, not come back onto him void. So with that, I'm going to just close out. It says the ICE protest is a shame of Portland. And you just have, of course, uh, you know, uproars of people. That I'm gonna say Shalom and call Halayim la Yehal Bashim Yashai Bashim Rucha Kodash Shalom.